What is up, everybody? Chewy and I coming at you today, and I can't believe I missed this. Last week, we got a card reveal. I haven't been paying attention. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize, man. I'm going to step my damn game and get these re re reaction videos up with, of these new characters that are being revealed, especially the spider foes, man. Like, spider foes are, like, my second best, like, literally my second favorite affiliation in the game, like, just from a character perspective. They're really awesome and great to play in shot. And by the way... If you're not playing the new Doc Ock, you should. The new Doc Ock is absolutely fantastic. I've, had, I've got like a few games in with him, and I think his leadership is absolutely fantastic and brings something new to the Spider-Foes. And now that they're getting more fleshed out, I think they're going to be a menace on the table. But without further ado, if you guys can, like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. Do what y'all got to do. And, of course, I'm always going to have MCB content coming up. I have a lot of video. And the other reason why I have not posted videos, I have a lot to post. Um, I have matches that I need to post on YouTube, so that's taking me some time. Um, they will be up uh, sometime this week. I have about uh, three matches recorded for the lunch meet uh, that I'm playing in right now at uh, Johnny Pastrami's tournament. Um, and I have one match recorded for Silver Spork. That's another tournament that we're playing, and I'm playing in right now on TTS. So I'll upload those matches soon. Don't worry about it. I'm just like trying to do it kind of all in one shot, you know what I mean? You guys get round one, round two, round three, and all that, rather than just like, hey, get this one this week, this one next week, or whatever. Just want to do it all in one shot. Without further ado, let's, let's, we're done with that. Let's talk about the Shocker, man. I mean, I've been waiting for, like, this guy to come out in the game for a long time, um, and uh, I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see that his card was revealed last week, so that's on me, but I caught it, and here's the video, and here's this card. Let's, let's just talk about it right now. Uh, Shocker, a four physical defense, um, Three energy defense, three mystics, so that's really good. So it looks like they're sticking with the theme of the uh, spider foes having, like, above average physical defense. Uh, you know, you look at Doc Ock, you look at uh, Lizard, um, Venom, Carnage, like, characters like that. Um, they love that. So they really love playing on Mutant Mad Men. That's a really, really good secure for them. If you haven't played a lot of spider foes, that's one of their favorites. Um, Mutant Mad Men is really good because um, of the physical defense, right? It's so high you can just take some secures from opponents that are that are holding them, um, you know, because of the high defense pull, right? Um, and he's got three energy, three mystic, which is really good. So really he has average defense here, which is really good. So he doesn't have anything below average or anything, you know, to get rid of him right away. Um, you know, um, but, yeah, really good stuff here. Um, five health. Um, he's threat three. Surprising. I thought this would be the spider foes two threat. I really had Shocker pegged at two threat. Um, you know, just because Shocker's just some, like, low-level street thug who just does stuff. I just thought he'd be the two threat. I don't know about three. I don't think they needed another three. I think they needed a two to slot in there. But, I mean, twos are... <laughs> They're not going to be made a lot in this game. I think they talked about that in one of their videos. Like, I mean, we're not going to see a lot of two threats, right? We're just because if you make so many two threats in this game, it's you, the roster building just becomes insane. So I, I can understand why they didn't want, probably didn't want to slot him on two. But me, I, I wish he was. I, to me, he's a two threat, but it is what it is. Uh, size two, and he moves medium, so he's not a slow mover or anything. Uh, he moves pr uh, about average, so that's really good. Um, He's size two, so it is what it is. So nothing really crazy there. Let's go to the, the attacks here. So uh, Vibro Shock Strike, range three, five dice. The only thing that confuses me, and this is just a mean, this is just a nitpick right now, is that he has a physical attack. Like he's shooting out electricity out of his arms. Isn't that like technically energy? I mean, unless he's like throwing his gloves at you at range three years. Like I'm. I'm imagining Shocker doing attack from that, like, from a long distance. I'm not really imagining Shocker, like, it being a physical attack. So I'm just kind of confused why this is a physical attack. If someone can explain to me from a lore perspective or whatever they're talking about here, let me know in the comments down below, guys. I That's my one nitpick. This should have been energy, but it is what it is. After this attack resolved, gain particle damage dealt, so nothing changes there. You gain particle It's a, it's a uh, builder, so that's pretty good. Uh, on a wild, you gain stun. Um, I, I love it, um, especially with, uh, you know, d the, the amount of characters in the game that generate power at an extreme rate. Um, stun is really good. Like, stun halts all of that. And stun is one of those conditions that just is annoying after a certain amount of time. Like, you think you gain a certain amount of power because you do a certain amount of damage, and then it's like, oh, shit, no, I don't because I'm stunned. So, like, stun is one of those, like, I'm telling you, like, those conditions that just creeps up on you. And, like, it, it can be very, very crippling. Um, so that's really good here. So nothing really spectacular here. Like, I mean, it's a stun, right? I mean, 
It, it's really good. Uh, shake him down. Uh, range three. Here's his energy attack. Okay, so what the hell? Whatever. <laughs> I just find that funny. Like, I look at both attacks. Like, well, shouldn't both attacks just be energy? But it is what it is. Shake him down. Uh, range three, energy attack, seven dice, four uh, power cost. On uh, wild, you just gain a stagger. So nothing really crazy about the the spender. It looks like they went into this character and are like the shocker. We're like, what well, does he really like? Need to do anything amazing. We just need to give him like, and it seems like to me they just need to give him like some really like good stuff, right? Like really good conditions. Or like, okay, we don't like we're not gonna really give him this crazy spend on this a ridiculous amount of things. I mean, he's a shocker, right? Like he doesn't really like move the needle, right? Like it's just whatever, you know. That's just who he is. So it seems like that's the that's the design philosophy they went with him. And, and I mean, these two conditions are really damn good. Um, and if you can pull this off, it's really nice, right? I mean, I'm starting to think of like, um, you know, maybe running a team with like a Goblin or something like that where he hands out Incinerate and then you can play this guy. He hands out Stun and Stagger. Um, you know, you can probably play a Condition team with um, with Goblin or something. I mean, who knows, right? I mean, this is this is really good. I could see him being in a Criminal Syndicate, actually. This is a, this is a nice shout-out um, with uh, Modoc's leadership because I just recently played a game against Modoc the new criminal syndicate leader and him changing a die to like a wild result or something like that, like is, or, or whatever, like into a success is really good. Um, and, and it's pretty consistent if you can, you know, meet the conditions and I don't think the conditions are that ridiculous. I have to reread that leadership at some point. Like it's, I could see him slotting into criminal syndicate just fine and like trying and playing under Modoc and maybe this works out or maybe Steve, the new, uh, Steve Rogers, too, because Steve Rogers, if you roll a hit, you can change any result to a wild or whatever. You know what I mean? You can pull these off rather easily. So I see two homes for him right now where I'm like, I think he might pull this off. I mean, uh, slots are tight in X-Force, but, hey, you know, they add a reroll. I mean, the reroll could help to put out these conditions and really cripple a character. So I don't know. I mean, I I'm thinking, like, right now, like, for sure, a criminal syndicate with, with Modoc and then, like, maybe some Steve shenanigans, right, that you can do with this character. I mean, handing out these conditions aren't – nothing to sniff at. So, uh, vibrational sh uh, vibrational shield, uh, two power cost. When this character is targeted by a physical or energy attack – okay, so he has a he has some defensive tech, which is good. Um, so he doesn't have – it doesn't like – so he – okay, so hold on. He can add defense dice for two power cost. It's not that expensive, so that's pretty good. So he can go from a, from a four to a six. He can go to a three to a five when it's physical or energy attacks. The majority attacks in the game are physical and energy. So, like, pulling this off is not going to be a big deal. So he has a, a shot at surviving um, because he only has five health. He has, it looks like he has no damage reduction or anything like that. So. The fact that he has this, I mean, it can help him out a little bit. I mean, he's going to die pretty quickly. Like, don't expect this guy to stay on the table a long time. But this can help, right? Adding dice can help. Uh, just keep in mind that when you're in a game that the defense dice are um, not equal to the, 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 the offense dice. Like, what I mean by that is, is like, the offensive dice is has a higher hit rate than, than defensive dice, right? You're hitting on a 3 out of 8 for defense, and you're hitting on a 4 out of 8 on offense. So, like, you're kind of behind the 8 ball there. But, I mean, adding dice does help. I mean, it, I've, I've survived because I've added two dice to some of my attacks in this game. So, this can be viable. So, this can be the only thing he needs. Um, if the ground is rocking. Jesus. These, these, oh, my God. The, these superpower names are, like, they're so cool. They're, they're so damn cool. Uh, when an enemy character within two of this character makes an attack, it rolls one for your die and its attack rolls. Because I'm sitting here wondering, when is he going to shock someone, Right? That's the thing. That's the other thing too. He's not handing out shock to anyone, which I find kind of weird. I mean, maybe um, Electro is going to be doing that. You know what I mean? Maybe they're like, maybe we don't want too many shock characters. Granted, his name is the Shocker. I'm kind of shocked he doesn't hand out shock, but he does in a way hand out shock, right? What shock does is hands out one fewer offensive dice in your attack rolls. All you have to do is be within two of a character, and then they're minus one die in their attack rolls. So. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. I mean, I can see some situations on, like, map ease where he can just be within two and be annoying and, like, your your, your opponent is rolling one fewer attack dice. I mean, I can see a world where on an E he could be absolutely annoying. Will he die quickly? Probably. But, you know, I mean, giving a character minus one attack dice is really good. I mean, we see Honey Badger do it now with, um, with Ankle Biter, right? I mean, Ankle Biter minus one defense dice can be really annoying and crippling. Um, so again, like this is, this is really interesting here. I'm, I'm sure I'm, they gave him a shock. 
<laughs> it, you know what I mean? Like, they gave him one, so it is what it is. That's fine. Um, he's immune to stun. So being him being immune to stun is huge, so there's no way for him to not really gain any power. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, he could be judged or whatever, and you know, but there's not a lot of characters that do judge. Um, so being immune to stun is really good. So he really should be gaining power with no issues. He could play, and this is what I mean. Like, he could play Mayor Fisk. You know what I mean? Like, maybe criminal. You know, maybe criminals love that uh, secure. I'm not really sure. I'm not a criminal syndicate player, but like I can see him being on the Mayor Fisk and just sitting there and just not gaining stun. Yeah, yeah, he takes the damage, but he doesn't gain stun, and he's just immune to it. And he could just keep launching attacks and. You know, keep doing his thing. Um, go to the injured side. Uh, let's see. Health stays the same. Defense dice stays the same. Threat three. Two caught. He's a two threat. Uh, moves media. Yeah, nothing really changes here. I will say this. Like, I feel like he's a good. I feel like he's a good character. There's nothing on this card that excites me, right? But the th you don't need that sometimes to be a good character. Like, he has enough stuff on his card where I'm interested to in playing him, and he has some stuff here that I'm like, hmm. This is really interesting. I could see where this can have a place in this game. You know, I could see it can. I could be, I see a scenario where, um, you know, you're playing a combination of him and Crimson Dynamo for some reason, and next thing you know, you're within two of a character. They're shocked because of Crimson Dynamo, and then oh crap, those characters are rolling two less attack dice. Like, I can see where he can be really annoying. Like he has D, he has good stuff. He he has like. Like, stuff, like, just average stuff, right? It's, this is just average. But then again, Shocker's been that character for his entire career. So it's, like, it's kind of fitting. But it's enough to make him relevant, right? Like, I just feel like it's enough to make him relevant. And, like, you like you can put him on the table and, and, and have a reason to play him, I think. So those are my takes on, on, on Shocker. I'm really excited for the spider Falls to get fleshed out. Um, Shocker, when I'm, I can't wait to read that card. I know we saw Sandman already. I know we saw uh, Vulture. Uh, Vulture is really interesting. When those cards come out, we're going to talk more in depth about that when we get an, a proper card because it's hard to read those cards. I know they're on Jarvis Protocols and all that stuff, but it's just hard to read those cards. Um, you know, when it's just not on an official site, right? Like, it's just I'd rather read it here. And when those cards come out, I will we'll definitely talk about them because I have some things to say about Salmon. Salmon is fantastic. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. I will catch you on the next Marvel Crisis Protocol video. Take it easy. Remember, guys, like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. Do what y'all got to do. I'm always going to have Marvel Crisis Protocol content. And don't worry, guys. Those match videos will be coming up soon, so don't worry about it. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Take care. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Peace.